Hello, everyone. You're watching CCP Podcast. Watch it. Enjoy it. Fun. Left life. Our room yours. Good afternoon. Welcome to CCP Podcasting Productions. I am Chris Page, and I just noticed that I am not on the right screen. Go figure. What's going on, guys? It's uh, show number two today. Uh, show number one this morning uh, was earlier this afternoon, I should say, was uh, on the Valna Eriks and the, the Freebirds. We looked at their rivalry a little bit. Now I'm back to, to shoot a little dusty roads because I can never seem to get enough of the American dream. Um, give me one second, guys. I'll get my camera together because, you know, I uh, can't seem to be prepared. That's not what I want. Okay. Uno momento, guys. I will have this up and running here in just a second. For fuck's sake. Let's see if we can get it going now. There we go. Sorry about that. As I was saying, I can never get enough dusty roads. And today, we're going to take a peek at uh, some of his best uh, moments, matches, stuff that I haven't seen before. I did not think that it was possible that I was going to find some stuff uh, on Dusty that I have not seen before. Uh, so I was rather shocked to uh, to see that happen. Uh, let's go ahead and jump in and get started with the American Dream Dusty Roads. And look at me. Not... Uh, I don't have it together today, guys. I'm sorry. Let's go to All Japan Pro Wrestling. Let's go to Dusty Roads and Harley Race. Let's get started. Kill off the television. <laughs> Get off the screen. Here we go. Harley and Dusty from Japan. Snatching that side headlock on race off rip. Shoulder block. Just took down race right there. Race just powered Dusty up like it was nothing. Race trying to find a way out of this side headlock. I don't know what he's got to, to do to get out here. <clears throat> Irish whip, perhaps. Oh, got him up for an atomic drop. Nice. Missed the headbutt. Telegraph that. Dusty back to that side headlock. Mighty no wet time. Mr. Wrestling. 
き分けで両者0対0得点がありませんペーシングとドンレオ・ジョナサンがドンレオ・ジョナサンが2点2ポイントを挙げましたそして第3試合は大木太郎と天満手と This was later in the day. I would be playing a drinking game. Take a shot every time we see a bionic elbow on this show. Pretty sure we would all be nice and toasty when it was said and done. Well, I never saw that before. Dusty bounced off the ropes to deliver a back body drop. That was, that was interesting. Race just taking every liberty he can right now. Started with that knee to the gut when he had him in the ropes. Oh, got him in the throat there. Nice sell by Dusty. Oh, Dusty turned the tables with that chair and ends up posting Harley Race. Race sliding back into the ring. Caught by Dusty with a snapmare. And a fist drop with authority. Got him with a second. Scoops him up. No, Dusty falls down on top with the cover. Just a two count. Race kicked out. A short jab by Dusty to the face. Answered by Harley. Oh, is he thinking pile driver? Oh, he got him up. He hit it. Into the cover. No. Dusty out in two off of the pile driver. Oh. <laughs> Dusty starting to fire up. <clears throat> oh, 
メリカでもめったに見られない試合じゃないですかどうでしょうね、まあ、あのなかなかね、ラフファイター同士だけにね、はいあの、どういう試合になるかと思って注目してたんですが、ね、むしろね、あのアリレースの方がエキサイトで、ね、現在まで両者、全く互角であります。Oh, just got him right in the nose. Going back to them Texas Outlaw days. Big elbow to the back of the neck. Race is dazed and confused here. Just topples to the mat. <clears throat> Got him with a second. Oh, the ropes are the only thing holding up race right here. Dusty's gonna tie him up. Look at him. Give it to him. <laughs> Faint the punch. Give him the bionic elbow. A knee to the kidney by Harley Race. They caught him with a knee lift right there. Just pun intended, lifted Dusty off the mat with it. <clears throat> Got to cover. Just a two. Dusty's out. Big backbreaker right there by Harley Race. Dusty's too close to the ropes. Still going to kick. Boy, they're reacting when Dusty gets up and has that look in his eye like you just fucked up. Nice reverse elbow. Down goes Harley. Big elbow drop. Into the cover. Two. Race with the foot on the ropes. That ring general. The wherewithal. Missed that second one though. Big knee drop. Harley's going out to the top here. Might be thinking headbutt. That's exactly what he was thinking. He got it. That will do it. Harley Race picks up the win. Match number two. Looks like I got to fix the screens on this one. Oh no, momento. Match number two of our best of Dusty Roads, the American Dream. It is Dusty Roads taking on Brazer Brody for the Brass Nucks Championship down in Houston, 1978. 265 pounds from Austin, Texas. The American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. And his opponent with the vest in his hand, the 
American Heavyweight Champion will defend that belt next Friday night against the former champion and Iron Claw Master Fitz Von Erich at 325 pounds from New Mexico, Bruiser. I apologize. Your referee, Bronco Libby. All right, you've got all the details. Dusty Rhodes, big dust from Texas. And he, of course, is the um, boy who will tell you that he pulled himself up by his boots. A big bruiser, Brody. That he has made himself what he is today through sheer hard work and determination not to be kept down. So it's big bruiser, Brody. Tough a customer as ever stepped into the ring and a big, big man. So the match now, the first fall starting. Okay. Looks like we got a best of three falls. Doing the crowding is Brody, who has showed a definite respect for the... Oh, look at Dusty. Just back Brody out of the ring. Dusty Rhodes, and Dusty makes the most of it. This crowd really gets with him. But come to think of it, I said this crowd. Reports from all over the nation indicate that Dusty Rhodes gets with it with fans everywhere he goes. And the... The charisma of Dusty is just, it doesn't ever cease to amaze me. It's great. Every group of wrestling fans, no matter who they were rooting for. So, Brody... Solidness of this guy, his legs right down into those big boots of his. 325 pounds of toughness and he big elbow. Back. And he dropped Brody with that. This is a non title match. Bru Bruiser Brody is the American heavyweight champion as this match takes place. But his title is not at stake, nor is his belt at stake. And the dust, the big dust as he moves around that ring. Lock has up a here. Lot on his side, and that's counting each and every fan here in the Coliseum. <coughs> this is Bruiser. Uh, Brody's Brody using the size, using the strength. At his toughest. No, Dusty firing right back on his ass. Wind up bionic elbow. Fantastic sell by Brody. That was great. Brody's been squeezing that vice into his head. It sure didn't do any good to strengthen it for the kind of blow that he just took on top of the head. So Brody, halfway up the aisle. Gets a 20 count, just as much of a count as he would get if he was laying out on the floor here. But it's just hard to say what the big fellow's thinking about. He caught a blistering right hand, right down on the, um, the right uh, elbow, rather, right on the top of the head. His second has been shouting the count to him. Now he's listening to Rocco Brody Lewis. taking his time. The, Not trying to make any 20. mistakes here with the dream. Bruiser Brody. He's not so sure that he wants to move in on Dusty Rhodes. I'm actually shocked that Dusty's kind of dominated the first piece of this match. I figured Brody would be a little bit more imp uh, imposing his will a little bit more with his size and trying to muscle Dusty around. But I know Dusty's a big guy. Don't get me wrong. He's not going to be easy to manhandle, but Brody's got, Brody's got that size and he's got that leverage and that reach. lets it fly, and we've got trouble for Bruiser Brody now as the twisting arm lock is on, and... Dusty looks for an opportunity to make it stick. If you talk about using an elbow, would you get that 325 pounder driving that one down there? You are really stocking up some TNT right at the point of that elbow.
Bruiser Brody looking to plaster Dusty Rhodes down into the canvas. Dusty is one of the top name stars in the nation, and beating him would be a feather. In now we're getting Brody, Brody imposing the, the will. He now the here we go. American heavyweight uh, champion. So the bruiser lashes out with that right of his, and Dusty was on the receiving end. Into the top crashed turnbuckle. Crashed hard. He's finding it. Oh, the ring shook on that. That was great. As Dusty Rose now tries to hook up the the bruiser, but he'll never quite hook up 300 pounds. I want to tell you. Oh, as he draws that leg back, these fans give a sadistic roar of approval. Oh, Brody cut him off. Cheap shot. For delivering the blow and that much. Wait, handed Bruiser Brody the opportunity to get out of it. Brody again, he follows through with that foot. He drives the foot forward with a kick and keeps his weight right in behind it. And he has literally blasted mm. Dusty Rhodes. There's a fall. First fall, Bruiser Brody. First fall of this match goes to Bruiser Brody. There it is. It's his first blood. And we now tell you we'll return here in a moment after this word from the studio. Well, the bell hasn't sounded, and Bruiser Brody is waiting for Dusty Rhodes to come into the ring. But look over to the right. Dusty Rhodes has come up, and he is... Now sneaking around to this side of the ring, uh, the far side, as Brody waits. And the bell sounds, and here is... Oh, look at Dusty coming in from behind. Dusty Rhodes coming up uh, with a sneak attack and laying it into... Oh, Brody. I think we're going to start seeing a brawl. Concrete here, and here comes... Two by four and Wouldn't that be a DQ? Reverse elbow. Riding elbow of Dusty Rhodes. Big jump and elbow. I bet you that ties it up. It does. He did it. Dusty Rhodes evens the score on Bruiser Brody. This is one time that the American dream was full of unparalleled success. We're going to stay right here and watch during this. Here we go. Division period as um, Dusty Rhodes makes sure that when Bruiser Brody rises up there again, he is going to let him have it. And some of the fans are hollering for Bruiser Brody to be body slammed by Dusty Rhodes. And Dusty is smart enough not to meet Bruiser at his own specialty, which is making himself just a little bit too heavy to be. Uh, oh, Bruiser took that second fall quick. Dusty, well, I should say Dusty, <clears throat> fired back on it pretty quickly. So the Bruiser. Hey, Cat. How are you? Period, sits over there wondering what happened and what hit him. And not finding the answer to I heard one. your uh, your Dusty situation more than ready. positive vibes. And referee Bronco Lubitsch telling him to to wait. Bruiser having his problems over there. I think his second is trying to explain to him. <clears throat> I decided to come in and do some best of Dusty Roads. Time is running down. Thirty seconds to go and. Oh man, I'm 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 on the mend. Uh, 
Uh, so I'm okay. Uh, I got the message from uh, Marco Monday, <clears throat> and uh, like I had just gotten home. I've been home for maybe two hours, and I saw it, and I went, "Oh no!" The man with that charismatic smile, style, and as the bell sounds, he's ready. Third and deciding fall here between Dusty and Bruiser Brody. Cat, I had the I had the, a hell of a time trying to find Dusty Road stuff that I haven't seen, and I, I was shocked that I did. It. But here we are. Are you still? Uh, are you home? Let me ask that question. Or are you still uh, indisposed? Well, sorry that you're not at your house yet, but glad that you've popped in and maybe this can bring a little bit of ray of, of sunshine uh, your way to get some, some old school dusty. Picked a good show to pop back in on. I was on earlier today and I did the Von Ericks and the Freebirds for a couple of hours. That was fun. Driving force coming down and missing his target can really take the steam out of you. His big shoulder block by Dusty. Dusty, a little bit the worse for wear for his running into. Brody that time. You, you came in, like I said, perfect, right on time. Uh, this is the second match on the on this show. Uh, we will, the first match was uh, from Japan with Harley Race. There comes that driving foot of Brody again. And Brody, I can see the look on his face, is a little bit the worse for wear here as... I'm not mad at you. Like, I mean, it's dusty. But he knows a dangerous moment when he sees one. And this driving wallop into the head of Dusty Rhodes is all pure gain as far as the, the bruiser is concerned. I have faith that that will definitely happen. Home for the weekend. That's the goal. Dust this up, and he is giving Bruiser a taste of his own medicine. Ugh. Oh. Oh, Dusty throwing a drop kick here in the third fall. Socked Brody right in the nose. Well, we're in the Coliseum. They're acting like Romans. And they are giving Dusty the okay to do anything he wants if he can. <laughs> Class. <laughs> and with the bruiser. Now trying to rise up to his feet to get ready for They should have seen the first fall. Dusty the first Rose, fall they just kinda were, were throwing the, shots back and forth. The word from the fans. Telling them, move and in, Dusty move evened in. it out in the second fall in like thirty seconds. Hard to find a man who gets more reaction out of fans than um, that the big dust. He's got them right in the palm of his hand. They they love to cheer him on, but right now he needs it. Brody, Into the corner. Look, that ring is shaking <laughs> with every corner bump. Tell you with the weight that this man has and the power that he has. That kind of scares me. That arm of his, he swings it hard. Caught him with a driving foot of his. Hard, solid wallop. We'll do it again. Set him up again. And set him up he did. And this could be it as far as Dusty Rhodes is concerned. That's a 325 pounder who was stretching him out on his on the canvas, and, and he Dusty just raised a hand that time and waved to his fans to let them know that he was still in this fight. <coughs> Brody firing away, Dusty's firing back. Away at the midsection, 
and the jaw and the whiskers of big headbutt. Brody. Oh, it took them both down. Notice that hand of Dusty Rhodes. He's waving at the fans. I noticed the referee's count, and I was going to say something, Cat. I just elected not to. That count just looks weird. Oh, Dusty went over the top rope. He's going to call for a DQ there. Oh, payback time from earlier in the match. Him up with that in the ropes. Rhodes has, um, well, Rhodes oh. is submitting his disqualification. I guess he figures he can only lose once. But he has lost this verdict to... Um, I think that referee should probably stay out of Brody's way. I don't know if that would be a smart idea for him to continue to try and get in Brewster's way. Oh, Dusty firing back. Here we go. I don't know. Bronco Lubitsch has lost his effort to get this match under control. And Dusty has oh. the U.S. American Memories of Dusty Friday Rose. and Saturday. This was a a piece of Sunday. <laughs> For me. Oh, uh, Okay. Next match on the card, 1980. How about Dusty Rhodes and Superstar Billy Graham? I think so. We'll get that going right Best now. Texas Wrestling, and we hope to earn. As this is getting started, Cat, give me one second. I need to step away. Uh, I will interest be right you back. and delight you. One thing I might point out that if you are looking for muscles, we've got muscles galore in our show because. During the next hour, you're going to be seeing Tony Atlas, who was Mr. USA, a man who can bench press 500 pounds, 500 pounds, pushing with just his arms. Now, I want to tell you that it takes tremendous arms to do that, but then Tony has arms that measure 22 inches. And we have superstar Billy Graham, and superstar Billy Graham has long boasted of his 22-inch arms, and as a matter of fact, in one physique contest, he won a prize for the best arms in America, and that is something that is uh, to be desired by any bodybuilder. Then we have Dusty Rhodes, Dusty Rhodes, whom nobody ever accused of having a Mr. USA type physique, but whom everybody believes is the kind of a guy who sparks action and gives it to you. But then you'll be making up your mind about that before this hour is over because superstar Billy Graham will be battling Dusty Rhodes and that believe me is the sort of action that can make it the best of Texas wrestling anytime anywhere well up in the ring we've got the makings of a match we have one ring ahead of it but don't let that worry you we've got a ring right behind it and here is Boyd Pierce this event for the brass knucks title two out of three balls 60 minute time limit Introducing first, 270 pounds from Paradise Valley, Arizona, the challenger, superstar Billy Graham. And his opponent, wearing the title belt from Austin, Texas, the American Dream and Brass Knucks champion, Dusty Rhodes. Your referee, Bronco Libby. No disqualifications, Brass Knucks rules will prevail. Well, Dusty Rhodes, not only Brass Knucks champion, but he's a man of all sports. And he is the man who brought a record tonight and had our uh, sound man play it. And they were praising the Houston Oilers. And he was wearing Love Your Blue on his chest. So that should tell you that Dusty Rhodes not only is a typical Texan, but he is ready for action whenever it comes, whether it's in football or whether it's in wrestling but here against superstar billy graham you have a the possibility of graham upsetting dusty Rhodes. graham is one of the game's top stars he has ruled the wwf as their champion 
He defeated Bruno Sammartino, and he is, in this particular instance, trying to dethrone the Brass Knucks King. Dusty Rhodes squaring off there in a three-point stance, ready to fly at the superstar. Superstar is also a man of muscle and strength. He is a bodybuilder and has received uh, accolades for the 22-inch arms which he possesses. Come on, and Superstar is taking advantage of the opening to drive in there at Dusty Rhodes. He looks for the spot and he finds it. You can see him driving the points of those fingers into the throat of, 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 of Dusty Rhodes. But Rhodes here is not a man to try to knock out with a few small things. You'd better use your most massive effort because he can take it and he can dish it out. He's the most uh, uh, difficult man to assess because for, uh, from his build in comparison with superstar Billy Graham you'd say he hasn't got a chance but with his fighting spirit I want to tell you that that is the greatest asset that Dusty Rhodes has reverse chin lock as Dusty puts on the pressure this is the night for two ring action here at the Sam Houston Coliseum it happens annually at uh, the first show of the new year and that's why you see all those extra ropes up in the up in the ring oh here you go cat I brought you a visitor say hey to cat I'm thinking about you oh. <laughs> So Dusty in behind, and he starts to maneuver and menace the superstar. Of course, Dusty himself is a superstar in many ways. The American dream, people call him, and he has risen, as he says, from... No DQ stipulation, if I'm not mistaken here. So I kind of want to see these guys get a little nasty. American life as a great great individual superstars power tearing those arms loose and making it difficult for dusty to apply that nice counter by Graham applying. now it's still a test of strength the fingers are interlocked and uh, superstar is making the most of his um, of his chance you're fine. No, Graham. Utilizing the power game. Pressure is still on the hands. The twist and the bend at the wrist. Still a test of strength as they jockey for position. I bet you this is where Dusty turns the tables. And Superstar is trying now to turn the tables on Dusty Rhodes to swing around. Dusty is trying to catch the superstar in the same trap, and that is to pull those arms behind his back and to take control. Five minutes of Oh, I don't know. I don't know. This Graham's going to take control, drive him back in the corner. And racked up against the, the rope. The superstar was smart enough to put Dusty Rhodes where he couldn't turn, couldn't twist. And that's why he was able to get out of that hold and to do something about it. The foot on the throat as Dusty Rhodes tries to 
turned his head in order to give him plenty of room to breathe. Plenty of room is a variable term. And well, referee, you can't do anything about this. The, you better get out of the way. This is no DQ. Rope is getting all that force down on Dusty Rhodes. Dusty in trouble. And he's been there before, and he has fought his way out of trouble before. Graham's he's just imposing his will right now, using everything around him ring-wise to his advantage. To like, I would get up and pop the referee in the face because there's no DQ. Get out stop. <laughs> get a move. He came up on him with, the, with tremendous pressure against the chin, and now he's using the same area to punish because he knows that the more he punishes it the better it's going to be for him so the rope is used to garret him the just nasty Graham's just being nasty right now powerful individual dusty in the ropes and oh wham. big bionic, bionic elbow, elbow. followed by dusty the elbow drop Dusty's on top We've got a fall. He got him. First We've fall to Dusty. Fall. I guess this is going to be two out of three falls. Dusty Rhodes. He uses the bionic elbow to work over superstar Billy Graham. Oh, Dusty's not waiting. Thirty seconds still to go in this rest period, but Dusty Rhodes wants a little bit of an edge here. He's already got it, but he is trying to get the jump on superstar Billy Graham. Five, four, three, two, one. Call him Superstar Gotta love it. For time. There is no timeout. He wants more time. And the fans here are telling him no. And they are telling him in no uncertain terms. He's not getting any sympathy from these fans, I'll tell you that. And the efforts now of Dusty Rhodes is to out to the floor. Billy Graham and to win this match in two straight falls he's already got got the start that was into a chair and dusty pursues billy graham to the point where he can fight has gone back out to the floor into, here into you. <clears throat> dusty now as he recognizes that he could be counted out races back to get back into the ring We've got superstar sprawled on the floor. We've got referee Bronco Lubitsch counting, an impatient Dusty Rhodes. He wants superstar back in that ring. And we are watching superstar. He has fans are hollering something, and I can't quite Oh, no doubt. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, they're throwing Dusty some shots. I feel he's like got he's, got, he's got some camera cord. He's got something. Rope. He could lasso uh, oh. steers. Right now he has lassoed a Texan and is trying to hog tie him. There are no disqualifications in this the brass knucks title match. Well, he's just gonna he's gonna choke him out and pin him, get the fall. Smart. Dusty down. Being choked by the multiple ropes that Billy Graham, the superstar, has Tied around him, and he means to make the most of it. Oh, he found the into ring the post ring post goes Rhodes. There. So the muscle man has taken extra assistance from a hank of rope, and there is Dusty Rhodes, and he is ready to get back in that ring, but he may not get the chance. Ring post 
did its job and Dusty hit that thing and hit it hard as he is now on the floor being counted and starts his way up toward the toward the ring. You saw that foot that's on the end of the powerful leg of superstar Billy Graham and oh I feel like Dusty's been opened up here. Lace into him. What's happening, Max? Good to see you. Coming in on match number three. Uh, this is Dusty and Billy Graham from Houston. 1980. We just finished uh, Dusty and Bruiser Brody, and before that, Dusty and Harlan. Oh, here come the jabs. Currently, Dusty's up one fall to none here in this two out of three falls match. Get in there and let him have it. Dusty with oh, a bionic elbow. Got out of the way. Got the hit with it to make it effective. Here is Graham trying to set put, him up. Uh, superstar down in the first fall. Oh, hug. big bear this hug. This is one of Graham's best holes. He's got him high enough, and he has got him strong enough to pour it to him. And the powerful arm. Look at that arm on that Billy Graham, and you'll get some idea of what's happening to Dusty Rhodes as the strong man shortens up his grip grabs up further on the on the on the wrist he keeps that pressure on the against the chest with his own body pulls him in tight and dusty is having problems dusty is likely to pass out right here dusty is likely to be this is going down right here and if the referee tests that arm of his and it is um no, he's not he is saying he is a peacock and you have to let him fly that. that's a moot point it his arm is working and he does have control and he is trying now to rally the crowd to, to do something about it dusty gathering some power some momentum and some big elbow smash broke the bear hug but no he didn't from that time and he did not get in i love how graham's positioned pool. here low center of gravity Got that leg stretched out far. Superstar Billy Graham putting the squeeze on Dusty Rhodes. Dusty bleeding from that cut over the eye and the blood coming down on, on the superstar as well as on the American Dream. And we could have a fall here if Superstar turns him over. He's oh. got a good uh -oh. chance to do it. And Dusty is, whoops, I'm nope. going to say Shoulder Dusty up. is out. Dusty is not yet out. Graham's got to figure out or he's got to tie this up. You cannot count this it's it's do or die for the superstar here. Blasted him and glued him to that canvas. And superstar has not done that. And the noise coming from these these fans is all for Dusty Rhodes and all all terrific. Big bionic elbow. Times two. Broke it. Can he keep it broken, though? What he does to superstar Billy Graham. He and superstar look for his opportunity. Got him. He may have him here. Two. He's got him. He did. The superstar Billy Graham ties it up. To... So, falls are even. We will have a third fall. We will be back for that fall after this word from the studio. Third and deciding Just fall the for the Brass Nucks Championship. Superstar Rush. Dusty Rhodes and clobbered him, but Dusty Rhodes is coming right back to give him some of his own medicine. Graham down. Dusty Rhodes trying to... Oh, Rhodes is getting funky. Graham just took a trailing bandage off of his wrist. Yes, Max, this is in Houston. And was annoying him, and that's what he threw out of the ring. Dusty. Three-point stance? No. Well, 
He's not going to make the Houston Oilers that way. That's a cinch. So outside on the floor, superstar Billy Graham pounds into Dusty Rhodes. Rhodes is doing the catching there on the floor. You can bet your boots on. Oh, that. they're trading shots out on the floor right now. And the battle continues on on the floor, and Dusty is determined he's going to keep keep him there. And the bell has sounded, and both men. I oh, I don't like out, that. <clears throat> Billy Graham is. How can you have a no disqualification match? Two out of three falls end up with a count, count a, a double count out. That doesn't Superstar make sense. Superstar does not get the belt. It is Dusty Rhodes. Gotta love the territory. You saw the physiques on Tony Atlas. Our next match on the best of Dusty that I haven't seen. Dusty Rhodes and Hacksaw Jim Duggan. And Duggan's got Colonel Buck Robley in his corner. I think this is also going to be Houston, if I'm not mistaken. It is. So probably another two out of three falls match. Sam Houston Coliseum, 1982. now a Houston boy. I think this is back when Duggan was a heel. As shocking as that may sound. But I also think Duggan could, if when it comes to like throwing hands, you know, uh, the, throwing hands versus a bionic elbow. Man, I don't, I don't know if uh, if Dusty's got an edge with the elbow because Duggan's got some fucking ham hocks, man. He can throw some 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 fist. Oh, bro, you should see. So no, just just Max, it's okay. I'll I'll show you. Just follow Page. I'll lead you to the promised land here. Some of his best stuff as a heel in Mid South was fucking fantastic. Ted DiBiase and Matt Bourne, it's good shit. Duck under, yeah. Look at that arm drag by Dusty. Who says Rhodes isn't technical? He can pull out the technical stuff if he needs to. Look at those swift, nifty arm drags by the American Dream. And then exuding that charisma as he strut ass across the ring. Hacker is not happy here. I was going to say he won the right to meet uh, Bruce Brody. But that's a dubious uh, prize. Because Brody is the kind of guy that knocks your head off whether you're, you've got a great reputation or not. Mm. Our punishment by Duggan. And he right now is trying to Cloud up the American dream. So down goes Dusty and out goes Dusty as Duggan follows him up. Oh, Max, I'm telling you, the, the Greg the Hammer Valentine one's funnier. As Duggan slams him into the 
when you when you talk about that that PE teacher reference, you need to look up that meme. You'll laugh hard. Oh, Duggan with a chair. There's no DQ here. Like I don't. When I'm seeing some of this, a lot of the Houston stuff, I don't see a lot of disqualifications. Like Duggan just tattooed him with a steel chair. Why is Dusty not awarded the fall here? Somebody correct me in the comments on YouTube. I know you want to. Go ahead and do it. I'm curious, genuinely curious, why there's no DQs on the floor in Houston. I don't think this is a Brass Knucks championship match, and if that's the case, that explains it. But I could be wrong. You guys stoked for Friday? The Beast King interview dropping on the channel. It's uh, it's quite the doozy. I swear that guy's the realest dude I've ever met in my life. Cat is great. We got about two hours with him. Max, we got Katie Trey this weekend. We're talking to him uh, Saturday night. He's uh, from Riot City Wrestling. And I'm working on a couple of other things. That's right. They're at bastards. And I am going to I'm going to confront him on the interview. It is going to happen. I'm going to ask him, why are you such a rat bastard? I already have it in my head on how I'm going to do it. I'm going to do this whole build up and, and you know, go over the top with this long drawn out thing just to say, why are you such a rat bastard? Oh, Dusty's opened up here. I'm running my mouth about other projects and... Oh, big elbow. Uh-oh. <coughs> okay, see, now we get a disqualification. Oh, there's Bruiser. As I'm sitting here looking at this, I think I just came up with another show. I <laughs> just don't know what I, how, when I would have time to film it with everything else that I've got going on. Tour in the territories. And uh, start looking at these guys from their territory, just their territory stuff. Duggan would be one of them. Like any territory wrestler. Brody. Oh, shit. Somebody just got spiked. So essentially the concept, anybody that came from the territories just find different matches of them in a different territory and tour the territory. I got a million of them, Max, I'm telling you. There was, you know, if I just need six of me, if I had six of me, buddy, I would be probably ten steps ahead right now. It takes work, man. It just don't happen. 
you know. I just now got to the point to where Twitch has started paying me monthly. No, it's not much by any means. It's really not even enough to even talk about. Uh, but I get I get a small payment from Twitch just for doing programming, not counting, you know, the ad stuff, the subscribers, the all the odds and the ends. But all that stuff goes right back into the channel. So, like, uh, the next big step that we're going to take is I'm going to take the money that we've made on the channel and uh, uh, invest in the software to where we can uh, multi-stream and stream on Twitch, stream on Instagram, stream on uh, Twitter, uh, and Facebook, all simultaneously. So I think that would be a big step. And then the other piece of it is if we got to start dumping money for interviews, then that's where that, that's exactly where that's coming from. We will be back here in a moment. We'll be back here in a moment. Let's have this word from... Oh, no, Cat. We're just talking about 10 of me on, on, on this project, on CCP Podcasting Productions. All right, we'll go ahead and put a pause on that. Our next match, again, this would be one of those great tour in the territories. How about an AWA world title match from 1983 against Nick Bockwinkle? How does that sound? Does that sound cool? That's, that's exactly what's about to happen. The winner of this match, the former North American heavyweight champion, Mid-South Tag Team title holder. I've got all the credentials. I've got this, and i got two more matches. I'll go ahead and tell you guys what they are. The next match is, I think, from 2002. Uh, against Jerry the King Lawler and then closing it out with a steel cage match against Terry Funk from like 2005 I think I specifically found stuff that I haven't seen so if you're watching this on YouTube and you're like oh shit you didn't put any flair on here well go look through the fucking video on demands because you'll find a lot of Dusty and Flair I've seen it all uh, there's nothing for me to react to because I, I know what's coming. Uh, if I find stuff that I haven't seen, then I can I can genuinely react to it. spread wide and. Trying to indicate that he is not the kind of a man who's going to take an unfair advantage. That's a tough character. Nick lock up. Oh, Bockwinkle going over the top with that wrist lock. Individual who has used the sharp I love the AWA too. I think it was a little, it was uh, underrated as a promotion. What would have happened if Hogan didn't leave and go to New York? It would have stayed with the AWA. Because Hulkamania was was already running at that point, uh, and the big the big program was Bockwinkle and Hogan. A little bit hard for Dusty to disappear, but he made a fast move and caught the champion off balance. So. Dusty with his ready to pop a man in the heads. Oh, style. kick off. He'll out wrestle him. He'll out fight him. He'll do anything to show people that he Bach is. Winkle's in tremendous Texas. shape here. Or a son of a plumber, as he says, who comes from Austin, Texas. World's champion now trying to spread things and do. Watch closely. The test of strength is in the in the hands, and Bockwinkle tries to push in the right direction, and he is. Oh, he muscled Dusty down. Challenger Dusty Rhodes down to his knees, using the pressure in there to lean in there tightly. Remember, the title is at stake in this match, and as Bockwinkle. Stands there almost in a superior position. Dusty took advantage of that to make a quick move and to get into 
this stand-up test of strength. Bockwinkel is it? Well, I was going to say mm. he doesn't like it. Cut him off with a boot to the midsection. Dusty ain't having that. Oh, I thought he was going to uncoil. Oh, he did. There we go. We got the elbow. Dusty Rhodes. So, Bockwinkel now trying to alert the referee, at least if he keeps the referee worried. He figures that he'll get the referee watching what goes on in there and maybe keeping an eye on Rhodes and forgetting to keep an eye on him. The pushing of Bockwinkel. Uh-uh. Blocked. 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 Mm. There's that sweet dusty strut you were looking for, Cat. He just gave it to you again. Headlock and Nick Bockwinkel has it. The twist and the turn. There's the curly side headlock. headlock. Dusty Rhodes popping out from underneath that strong forearm of Nick Bockwinkel. The grinding and the turning. And Nick and he comes off. Oh, was not expecting that, but Dusty came right back, catches him with a big ass body slam. It's like, come on, Daddy, go ahead and get up, baby. I've got a big elbow for you right here, son. I got you, baby. The way he landed here just made you shiver from one end to the other. As he splatters. Lock up. Bockwinkle is tough. Few people have accused him of being anything but tough. I should probably be a little bit more specific when I say matches I haven't seen. I've seen Dusty and Bockwinkle before. I just haven't seen this particular match. Let it fly. So Dusty surveys Nick Buckwinkle. We see him as our camera here at ringside looks up at him. And as Buckwinkle goes for a series, he goes, he was after the arm in the first place, but he didn't make an overt move to the arm until he had fainted in several directions. Tonight's double championship card is being covered by a battery of photographers from Japan, from uh, New York from Minneapolis. Uh oh, Bachwinkle Duck, Dusty Duck. Big atomic drop. Atomic drop and he dropped him right on his knee, and Nick Bachwinkle is in trouble. Yes, that's the way you feel when you land. No, Dusty has serious scars because he bled. <laughs> that's what his scars are from. It's, it's from taking the blade and going in the same spot. Over and over again. So as Ask me how I know. Rises, can't see, but I've got two up here because that's what I used to do. Dusty Rhodes I stopped in, uh, blading because of it. That he was just a, a while ago, although I've never seen Dusty when he wasn't confident. He has that spirit about him. But right now, as... The champion laid it in there, and he laid it in with a vengeance. Dusty's going to have something to think about. He is likely to get his head kicked off here because that succession of... Max, you'll appreciate this. When I get Katie Trey on, I'm, I'm, I'm going to call him out. I'm going to challenge him to a fight. Dusty in trouble. Nick Bockwinkle driving in there and going after him. I'm going to make the, the powers that be in Riot City Race Wrestling book Katie Trey versus Chris Page. I will put on the boots and the tights and get in shape. 
Uh, if 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 I can get down there, get to Australia, and get in the ring with Katie Trey, I'll fucking do it. I haven't been in the ring in 18 years, probably. 15 years at least. I'll get in there and do it. If I can get Katie Trey for 15 minutes, give me 15 minutes. Let me show you how to tell a story. comes the dusty jabs now listen to the crowd they are here for it <coughs> oh big headbutt If you guys uh, hang around after the ending credits, I, I want to sh I want to show you guys something. We'll take the thirty seconds, forty-five seconds after I in the the stream <coughs> with uh, with the thank you for watching video. I'm gonna pop back on and show you guys something. Stop acting like you know me, Max. Gosh. Anything be a surprise? I just think it would be cool as shit to start cutting promos again. Like, I, I, I will fucking go to promo war on him. I'll take him to school. Think about it. I can produce my own segments from my from my house. Like I can do that. I can do all that myself. Send it in. Oh, and Bachwinkle just hurled him out to the floor. The referee, I think that's going to be a DQ. No, wait. What the fuck? Who was that? There's the cover. Bachwinkle retains. Oh, it's Ted DiBiase. That's who, the, that's who they're saying it was. Well, we know what they're coming back with on their next show, DiBiase and Dusty. Keep on cruising along. Hold on, let me make sure that... I don't have to do this twice. No. Perfect. Let me fix our screen here. Let me blow this up because we're going to Legend Fest 2002. Dusty versus Jerry. Let's fucking go. King Lawler. Well, I'll tell you, Scott, this is the match they came to see here tonight. A near record crowd in Nashville. Oh, we got Cornette on the call. Face the King for what I believe is the first time ever in either of these two men's careers they have ever faced each other in a single match. And when you think of the 
the incredible competition that both these men have faced over the last 25 years in this sport. Two of the leading individuals, two of the, the leading competitors in every federation over the last two decades. They have never met one-on-one, -on -one, face to face, in the ring. And talk about your titles, Dusty Rhodes, many time NWA World Heavyweight Champion, Jerry the King Lawler, many time. There's a little NWA sweet, NWA sweet strut World for you, Cat. Go along with AWA World Heavyweight Champion, the CWA World Heavyweight Champion. I was just thinking that that was Scott Hudson's voice, but I wasn't 100% sure. Because I've been foiled in many times by Jerry the King Lawler. He has foiled many men that I've managed. Dusty Rhodes, same situation. I've been across the ring from both of these men, and all I can say, Scott, you never know what to expect. That's a great way to put it. The only thing consistent about these men is their inconsistency. They never give you the same look twice. Dusty Rhodes will pull a rabbit out of his hat. Dusty Rhodes has taken a beating and a pounding over his incredible career. He's got more injuries and places than most people have placed. Nice young lady at ringside with uh, Lawler. Not shocked. Well, taking a lot of punishment, but he knows how to come back. Both these guys are going to do their dead level best not to tarnish their reputations here tonight and Lawler has the home field advantage and talk about reputations how about the fact that both I don't know Kat this was in 2002 it might have been life number 2000 23,532 very well could have been it was 2002 well the fruit of his loins if you will kind of felt a little farther from the tree than most but Dustin now gold dust Still has the American Dream's blood running through his veins. But the men who started it all, Dusty Rhodes, Jerry the King Lawler, one-on-one -on -one here in Nashville. I came to see this match. Me too. I'm not going to kid you. I'd have paid good money to see this one. And oh, Jerry Lawler with the right hand. Well, fortunately, instead, the promoter's paying you good money, and I don't know why. Well, I got, I got, a, wife, I got a wife and kid. You know, That's not my fault. <laughs> Mandatory sterilization work Cornette just nailed him. Oh my god. Why well, they're paying you good money? Well, I got a wife. I mean, my fault. fucking nowhere. Caliber in the ring, you might actually not notice at ringside the beautiful Miss Joni. I don't see how you could miss her. Accompanying the King Jerry Lawler to the ring. And she has been known to get her, to get physically involved in these contests for her man as well. Well, but the list of guys in this industry that both these men have defeated in their careers, from Hulk Hogan to Ric Flair to Randy Savage, you can go down the list. Between the two of them, Jack Briscoe, someone just said in the crowd, between the two of them, they've gone through the entire list. And I cannot believe that we're seeing history made tonight in the first time they've ever met each other. That's hard to believe. Two men, and I don't think they are ashamed to say that are approaching 30 years in this great sport, have never once tied up in single competition until this very night. Oh, oh. Nashville, Tennessee in a right hand from Dusty Rhodes. And now Lawler's finding out what all the talk is about on that big right hand of Dusty Rhodes's. Thing looks like a small canned ham. And Jerry Lawler. I was thinking about that too, Max, when the, when Cornette said this is the first time ever that they've ever met in singles. I don't know how much time Dusty spent in Memphis, and I know that the handful of matches that I've seen with Dusty in Memphis, he was teaming with Lawler. Dusty's a ring general, so is Lawler. It's so impossible to pick between the two of these guys. They're playing mind games now. They're trying to psych each other out. And... Like, I think the only match that I can think of off the top of my head that I remember them being a part of was a six-man. It was Dusty Lawler and Magnum versus Ole Arn and Tully in a six-man. A six man. It was in Memphis. And now that bionic elbow may be uncorked. A little shake, rattle, and roll. Got it. To the shoulder point of Jerry Lawler. Shoulder. I don't have to tell you how much pain that's in. Just look. The imaginations of the king. He's trying to get everything back in alignment up there after that elbow from the American dream. Do you see Dusty Rhodes making eyes at Miss Joni at ringside? That's risky business for the dream. I'm seeing everybody in Nashville making eyes at Miss Joni, especially in that getup. 
Oh, that shot dropped Dusty. At the hands of of Jerry the King Lawler. I feel like Howard Cosell's got down goes Dusty. Down goes Dusty. They got some free dental work from the King. They got a pretty good crowd in the small gym here. And Dusty going to regroup. But see now Rhodes is in control because now he's dictating the pace. And as smart as he is, that's what he wants to do. He's going to try to rattle Lawler, make Lawler anxious. Try to get Lawler to step in and make a mistake by rushing. And that's exactly what the King does not want to do. Dusty Rhodes still at ringside, shaking loose the cobwebs, getting dangerously close to Miss Joni over there. Whoa, oh, wait a minute. Well, she's getting dangerously close to him. She's getting in his face. I think she's making eyes at Dusty. I don't think so. You know, the American dream. The American dream was quite a ladies' man in his day. Really? But I understand Miss Joni, when Dusty was coming in, Miss Joni said, hey, cowboy, where's your horse? Dusty said, it's between my legs and you're too ugly to ride it. Oh. oh. That one didn't work on Baby Doll in 1987. I liked it then. Oh, and Dusty opening up on Lawler. Shoots him in. Big back body oh, drop. Oh, Lawler up over and down high elevation. With the <clears throat> I think Lawler will be taking most of the bumps here, Rose obviously. Closing in on the king. Good Lord. We are seeing a clash of the titans here. The importance of both these men in the, in the industry of professional wrestling cannot be underestimated. And now there's partisans among both sides of the crowd. Some for Dusty, most for Lawler. Well, we are in Jerry Lawler's backyard, the volunteer state of Tennessee. And Dusty Rhodes, God love him, might be considered an interloper here in Nashville. An interloper? It's not interloper season, it's deer season. Oh, wait a minute, Dusty. Opening up one more time, Lawler into the ropes. Oh, Whoa. he caught the dream that time. That Down legendary. goes Dusty again. That right hand of the king has dropped every big name performer in this great sport, and Dusty Rhodes, just the latest. Oh, look at Lawler, he's Wait. ready. He's well, ready you see go. Lawler, he's not waiting in after him, though. He's waiting for Dusty to get up. He doesn't want to close in on Rhodes. Rhodes may be playing possum. Lawler's smart enough to realize that. He knows what he's dealing with and how smart a man he's got in the ring with him. <coughs> Dusty Rhodes claiming... Dusty playing the heels here? That Jerry the King Lawler used a closed fist. I think he did. Well, yeah, I, I have no argument with that. Did Lawler deny it? I didn't see it. I kind of feel like he's uh, thrown off his game by that crowd response a few minutes ago. It's a pretty good Lawler chant going. I think the only attendance records that Dusty didn't set were the ones that Lawler did. Oh, and the elbow. Into that left shoulder one more time. The elbow that the dream plane Miss Joni said she used to watch when she was a little girl. And now... Wait a minute, he's got Lawler backed over those ropes and oh, the elbow again. Mm. Lawler backed into the corner. Oh, two master manipulators here and now Rhodes choking Lawler. The King with his oxygen cut off. Lawler trying to, trying to fight out from underneath, but Rhodes has got him smothered in the corner and hiding the choke from the referee with his own body. That takes a lot. Now Jerry Lawler finally back to his feet. And Dusty stalking his man. Dusty Rhodes, the American dream. Back Slaughter into the corner. Dusty Rhodes oh. with a knife edge chop right across the chest of the king. And there's that elbow. Oh, another bionic elbow. I told uh, well, you Jerry guys weren't here at the top of the program. I said, I feel like we should, if it was later in the day, we should probably be playing a drinking game. Uh, every time Dusty hits a bionic elbow, we could take a shot. The Texas Outlaws with Dick Murdoch. The superpowers with Nikita Koloff, America's team with Magnum TA. How about the James boys? I'd rather forget that one. Full scoop and a slam in the center of the ring. Uh oh, wait a minute. Well, where were you Dusty last night, Max? I did a best of Lawler last night. It's a pop up stream. She is distracting. Like 8 to 10. Oh, this. This is a new of I haven't Dusty released Rose. it yet. Actually, I think it is on the Twitch page, well, Rose, but it's not on YouTube yet. Play by the rules and get a break with the hometown officiating. Fans. Watched a lot of old school right Lawler from uh, Memphis. Some rules. That's nothing new for the American dream. It's just that in normal circumstances, the fans are behind him. In this case, the partisans are mostly for the King Lawler. That's a great read. I agree with you. Jerry the King Lawler. Wait a minute. Now there's a definite dusty chant. 
developing here against a Lawler chant <clears throat> on the other side of the building. We may have something breaking down here in the entire Fairgrounds Arena. Well, from the looks of it, if it does break loose, I'm betting on the Dusty side. And Dusty Rhodes, left hands across that left shoulder. Oh, and now right into the throat of Jerry the King Lawler. This definitely is a different American dream than we've seen. Well, Dusty Rhodes, I think, thinks that the... Uh, yep, Rhodes has made the turn the for sure. The spoils in this case would be Joni, and I think he'd like to spoil Joni. I think all of us it's kind of cool to see Rhodes play in the, the, the heel here. Oh, look at this. Referee Rudy I bet you this that was an audible that was called uh, off of the crowd. Lawler is on his now he's on his feet. Barely. Oh! Cuts him off one to the gut. Dusty looks like he's ready for the bunkhouse stampede. Oh, big right. Lawler just bumping like crazy. Sit Lawler up and over all the way to the floor. Boy, he went ass over T Kettle on that one, and now Dusty, who looks like he's ready. To compete in the bunkhouse stampede, if you will. My God, he's he's got cowboy boots on and those blue jeans, and he might even have spurs in his pockets. Corny, what do you expect? He's not going to don the tights. He's got a toolbox. That's the toolbox the ring crew uses to put this ring up before the show. Dusty Rhodes has got the toolbox. Oh. Grand Lawler's heading to it. In public, even. It was in the corner of that toolbox. Good God, now. He's getting an Allen wrench. What's he doing? Now, wait a minute. He's got, what is that? Is that a rope or a tie or a, a cable? Something like that. Some type of cable wrapped around the throat of Jerry the King Lawler and Dusty. Dusty Rhodes. is not playing games. I love it this. Means necessary. To control Jerry it's the not King peak here Dusty. Tennessee. It's not peak Lawler. I'm into this. And Dusty Rhodes. You can see it in Dusty's eyes. Well, this has been brewing. This has been boiling. There's been bad feelings from afar between Rhodes and Lawler for years. Well, there's some good feelings right now between the Dream and uh, Miss Joni. Looks like. Oh, he's going after his girl now. I wonder if Dusty wants to show Joni the flip flop and fly. I bet yeah, he does. He does. Uh -oh. oh yeah. Hang Get on. Children, please avert your eyes. Do not try this at home. Dusty. I think he's going to get a uh, Dusty, here. why did you take your eyes off of Lawler? He's going to give it to you right back. Lawler's got that cable that Dusty was choking him with. And now Lawler returning a favor. Man, he is choking the life out of Dusty. Dusty came oh, I swear to God, this better not even look at I won't be so mad. Put your hands on the king's woman. Well, now Lawler looked like he looked like he thought better of that. He took the cable. Oh, wait a minute! He took the cable off Dusty's next week. Oh! He threw that toolbox at him and missed. Thank God! It didn't miss by inches. Dusty. Oh! oh. The tray, the metal tray in the box. Now Dusty Rhodes has has used that. It's coming to play on the the spine of the king. Oh, this isn't turning into that classic battle of icons that we thought it would. This is just a regular old wrestling war. But this is what we should have expected. God loves Scott what Hudson. When you get the American Dream and the King, this wasn't going to ever be a classic, time. buddy. This you isn't the fight. 80s. It's 2005. This is a, a Legends brawl. Just so we can give our, our, our patrons their money's worth. Gotta wonder how much more Lawler can take, Scott. Not much. He's wobbling. Ooh. He hasn't I like the audible that was called mid-match, though. We're listening to the crowd. Line. Dusty went more heel. Being manhandled by the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. Ooh. Oh, wait a minute. Double fist down across each trapezius muscle. But oh, wait a minute. Look at Lawler. He's kinging up. Heroes of wrestling. <clears throat> Jerry Lawler's ready. Dusty oh, there comes the strap. And my God, for the first time that I have ever seen, Dusty Rhodes is backing and begging, backing and begging, and here comes Lawler closing in with the right. Oh, the king. Oh, Cut Dusty. off with a thumb to the and eye. Uh oh, uh oh. Roll through. Feet on the ropes. The referee saw it. Boy, it was close. The referee. Oh, Dusty, Dusty couldn't get his feet won. up on the second rope, so. 
Good job by the official, Dusty Rhodes, using the ropes for leverage against the king, and the referee didn't. Wait a minute. Lawler, roll up. He's on the ropes. There's a three. The Lawler did it. A what? referee error what? has caused the, the finish of the, the battle of the ages to be despoiled. Good for the goose. Good for the gander. Dusty Rhodes. Lawler steals it. He got cut off. Jerry the King Lawler, in a word or a couple, got away with it. And Jerry the King Lawler. With the heck the yeah, he did. He can get his feet up on the middle ropes. All right. Let's go into our last match. How about a little Terry Funk? Not only how about a little Terry Funk, how about a little Terry Funk promo for beforehand? How about that? Let's track this. You know, there's a lot of... You know, there's a lot of people in the professional wrestling that I love and a lot of people that I hate. But of those people that I love and hate... The one thing that's the most important thing to me is that they respect me and I respect them just as I respect the wrestling fans that are out there. Just like Hulk Hogan might be an obnoxious, bald-headed idiot, but I respect him and he respects me. Ric Flair, he might have a banana nose and be a goof, but I respect him. And he respects me. Mick Foley, he might have a satchel ass. But I respect Mick Foley too. But there's one person in this world that I do not respect. And that person is that fat, overbearing, obnoxious, egg-sucking dog. And I've got him in the ring tonight in a cage. And that's exactly where I want him. Now, I respect the people of Carolina, and I'm going to tell you one thing. As you people have been used to great performances in the ring, you've been used to great talent, and now you have to watch this big, fat slob walk around and do absolutely nothing. Well, that's all going to end here tonight, and that's a promise from the Funker. Dusty Rhodes, the American Dream. How many roads have I traveled with Terry Funk? How many beatings have we gave each other? The night this thing has to come to an end. Inside this steel cage, the American Dream, the Tower of Power, too sweet to be sour. Terry Funk, Dusty Rhodes, the longest running feud in the industry. And it ain't going to be pretty tonight. So I'm telling you, when you see this cage go up, you better take a deep seat and a far away look, like they say in the old rodeo house. The American Dream Dusty Rhodes is going to put it on Terry, get funky like a monkey right here tonight. All right, fans, this is what it's all boiled down to tonight is the rage in the cage. We have Terry Funk to battle the American Dream Dusty Rhodes, and they're already going at it on the outside. Well, you just never know oh, what yeah. to expect when you got uh, Terry Funk in the in the building because he's liable to do anything at any time. <coughs> I wouldn't be surprised to see him come off the top of the cage and land on the Big Dusty tonight. This guy is absolutely one of the most loose. When they made up the saying, loose cannon, they had Terry Funk in mind. He'll fire from any position. Turn it around, right, Terry, Terry Funk is on the outside. But that idiot! 
Nicolas Cage. Places packed too. All right, it's officially underway. Got some some seating in the back Terry side. Terry Funk wanting an I Quit match, but I think it'll still go under the uh, just the standard steel cage match, which is violent mm. enough. Well, I tell you what, these are two bulls in a cage right here. You can believe one thing: there will be some punishment dished out. Well, Dusty's Dusty Duck that left. Let's think of how long, Randall, exactly these guys have been feuding probably off and on for almost 30 years. Well, it's my understanding they had some sort of falling out at the Lord's Last Supper, and they have continued it on until now. And I'm going to tell you, this is going to be an ugly match before it's over with. There's the big elbow to the head. Terry Font did not want that whatsoever. And Big Dusty gives him another one. He's looking for him. He can't. Oh, there he is. The question here is who's going to draw first blood? It really remains to be seen, you know. Uh, I guarantee you before this is over with, unless I miss my guess, this will be a bloodbath. These two guys in a cage, that's like, that's like putting two mountain lions in a cage, two grizzly bears in a cage, two Rottweilers, two Rottweilers in a cage and rub their rear ends till they're sore and pour turpentine on them. Wait, what? You can almost be assured that this match okay. will be violent and very bloody. I'm going to need for the announce team to just shut the fuck with, up. I guarantee you, it will be a bloodbath. All right, and Terry Funk is pounding on the American dream, working him over. He certainly is. Oh, he's rubbing his head into that steel cage. That right there will get somebody. Oh, no. There's return in kind. Well, Dusty blocked it. Yeah, yeah, Dusty blocked it, but Terry Funk wasn't able to block it. He rammed head first into that steel cage, and there he goes again. And I'm going to tell you what, when steel and skin meets, the skin parts, the steel doesn't. Terry Funk is on spaghetti legs. Well, he came out on spaghetti legs. Don't uh, don't be fooled by that. Uh, Terry Funk has been through war after war after war in his many years in the wrestling business. But don't ever sell that man short. Oh, here's but by the same the... token, the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes, he's been there. <laughs> the he's first done bit that. Of blood. Uh, he's done everything there is to do in professional wrestling, except the one thing he would really like to do is put his old adversary completely out of business and out of the business completely, and that would be Terry Funk. And tonight he has that golden opportunity, but along with that, he also oh, has the opportunity to be Funk. on the other end of that we'll career need for you to fire up here, Terry big man. Funk is bleeding about the forehead, ladies and gentlemen. Right. And he is slammed once again into the steel cage and the blood pours. Terry Funk taking a thrashing at this point in time. Well, the steel cage is taking the thrashing. Terry Funk is taking a bloodbath at this point. He is bleeding profusely about the head, and Dusty Rhodes is moving in. He smells mm. blood. He's like a shark in the ocean. He smells blood in the water. He's going after his adversary. Right on him with another punch. And there's a big left. And a, oh, a, a, a knee to the south there. Terry Funk is back. He's throwing them knees. He's throwing them lefts and rights. He thinks it's a boxing match, and he's using Dusty Rhodes' head for a punching bag. Oh, he's working him over severely. I tell you, if you're weak, if you're weak in stomach and you're weak in heart, don't watch this match. Go ahead and fast forward to something else. Here comes Terry Funk trying to get out of the cage. Like he's a, pushing against the door. He wants to get out. That's what it takes to win this match. Terry Funk is acting like a complete madman tonight. Well, he's always that way. There's nothing new about that with him. He <laughs> is a madman. Fighting the chain. And the, he is doing what he has game. to do to get out of that cage. And Dusty Rhodes wants to get to him before he gets out. 
The cage door must be jammed or locked. The cage door is tied. That's the rules of the match. It's tied. You got to either get out of the cage or score a pinfall. And we don't want to make it easy for a man to get out the door. I think Terry Funk has got about three quarters of the cage door told open. Funk that. He does. <laughs> but he's got three quarters of Dusty Rhodes' head open too. So there you have it. They're both bleeding. Oh, he's going to bite him. He's turned vampire. And Dusty Rhodes is probably about to be busted open as well. Oh, Dusty's already busted open. I saw blood trickling down his forehead uh, a moment ago. And there's a big headbutt. Now, I don't know if that's a good idea or not. That's one hard head hitting another hard head. Yeah, Dusty, Dusty will trade well, headbutts with him. There we him. go. Got the jabs going. Dusty Rhodes rallying, punching. That's what they want to see. They want to see the bionic elbow. Right to the forehead where the blood. See, you can see Dusty's bleeding also. Is that blood Man, this guy is like hell blood. bent on getting over the fact Dusty's bleeding. Down goes Terry Funk. I don't know if you guys knew this or not, but Dusty Rhodes is bleeding. Both of these I feel like we need to stress lacerated. the fact that blood is trickling down Dusty Rhodes' face. I'll tell you, as someone I don't Jesus need to be in the ring tonight Christ. is referee Tony Hunter. Well, he got the girls' match. He had to get this to take the good with the band oh wow talk about downgrading Here comes that up. didn't He's age well elbow. and there it is oh, fucking prick got him right in the top of the head that big elbow i've, I've uh, been that, on the right? end of it a couple of times and i'll tell you right now it's very painful those must be I'm some need old for him to shut the fuck up. Oh, you know what? I'm not listening to this anymore. I'm, I'm, we're going to mute this out for the duration of this uh, this match, and I'll talk over it. I'm not going to listen to that bullshit. Um, so it looks like Rhodes went low there. You got Funker trying to climb. I don't think that's going to end well for him. <clears throat> oh, it's definitely not going to end well for him. Yeah, absolutely. Commentators were definitely very disrespectful right there. Fuck them. Um, I feel like Funk is about to take a trip. Oh, not the trip I thought he was going to take. I thought he was going to take a flare bump for a second. Instead, he uh, crotches himself on the top rope and he leaves himself in prone position for Dusty to start going to town. Do you want to take a quick moment to apologize to those if you're watching on YouTube or if you're here live while we're doing this program? If that offended you, I'm sorry. I don't listen to the commentary. I don't watch the matches beforehand. I cannot control what someone else says, but I can control if I choose to listen to it moving forward. Thus, the sound has been muted. Dusty, low below by funk. Is he the branding iron? Oh, he's lighting it on fire. Yes! Watch that turnbuckle, boss. You're going to set the turnbuckle on the ropes on fire. Flaming branding iron. Let's go. Oh, the referee's getting it. Uh-oh. Oh, he branded funk. He got him in the butt cheek and it got him again. Dusty's like, here, take this out of my hands, please, before I permanently do some shit. Bionic elbows, clips the leg. We got to cover. The referee makes the count with the flaming branding iron in hand. Dusty Rhodes is going to win this with a chop block. <laughs> that was. That was Fucking great. The referee is being tripped up. He has got open flame in his hand, Terry. Can you stop? <laughs> like, you're going to... Look, Funk is crazy. Jesus Christ. Thank you, Dusty. Thank you, Dusty.
Oh my god. That referee is probably burned so much on his arms. His hair is probably singed. Dusty just saved that man's life. He had a little angel on his shoulder this night in, in Myrtle Beach, uh, South Carolina. That little that little angel was called the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. He was like, somebody get me some damn water. <laughs> what, a, what a wild way to end the program. That was, that was... Uh, that was nuts in every sense of the fucking word. Uh, I was not expecting the flaming branding iron to be a thing, but it turned out that that was indeed it. Um, I'm I'm happy that everybody stopped by. Uh, Cat and uh, and Max, uh, don't forget, stand by. It's just a second. I'm gonna wrap this up, but I'm gonna show you guys something. I'm not gonna log off just yet. Um, so if you've enjoyed the program, you haven't already, go down below, hit like, hit subscribe, uh, leave a comment. Uh, that's the easiest way that you can help us by doing absolutely nothing. And it's all free. It's great. Um, listen, I will be back, uh, tomorrow night, Thursday night, uh, for a spotlight, independent spotlight on Skrilla the Great. Uh, we'll be back on Saturday with Women's Wrestling Takeover, Territories and Rivalries. We've got a bunch of shit happening. i got a makeup show on Sunday for the fuckery that happened with last week's Wrestle and Request Live. A lot of moving parts. So, if you again, if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. You know you want to. I'm Chris Bates. We'll see you next time.